Can you see me now? No, I can't. Okay, you really can't see me, right? No, I can't see at all. This needs to be explosive. Okay. All right. Welcome to 2021! We did it! We, we did it. it! We did it, we're here. New year, new me. I need to relax more this year, so I think I'm gonna start doing some yoga. So let's begin by saying namaste cake. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. This is a serious yeah, that's not meditation. Acceptable. That's not acceptable, Orhan. So I, let me tell you what I caked. I caked a yoga mat and yoga blocks. I'm gonna try and talk really calmly this entire episode. I'm not sure that it will work, but I'm going to attempt it. To make this yoga mat cake, I baked six pounds of my ultimate chocolate batter in 12 four inch round pans. It sounds like a lot of cake, but a four inch round pan is really small. And to make the yoga blocks, I baked 10 pounds of Funfetti batter in two rectangular cakes. My cakes have been baked and chilled. I'm going to remove them all from their pans and start to create a yoga mat and yoga blocks. In order to make the yoga mat, I'm gonna begin with all of my chocolate cakes. I'm going to level them all and layer them all. So now I have 24 little round layers of chocolate cake, 24. Two for each month of this awesome year that we are entering. Excellent, I like that. That was brighter, I like it. Let's keep it there. This is where we're gonna keep the energy, excuse me. So now I have to simple syrup all 24 layers, and then I'm going to begin to fill and stack them with Italian meringue buttercream. Now, I can't stack 24 layers upright. I mean, I could, that would be good content because it wouldn't work out, but I'm gonna be zen. So what I'm going to do is build it as four cakes with six layers each. What pose is this? Maybe you can be a yoga slash caking instructor. I need, I need Jengis' help. You know that Jengis does yoga, right? Like he's a yogi. That's what they call people who do yoga. Isn't that a bear? It's also a bear. I don't know any yoga poses. What would we call this? The upright cake. These are new poses that I have created that blend yoga and cake. It's standing. Standing, okay. I've heard of that pose. <laughs> so now I've made these four cakes in standing pose. I crumb coated all four of them and now I'm going to chill them. I'm gonna move on to creating the yoga blocks. The first thing I need to do is level and remove the caramelization from the bottom of both my Funfetti cakes. And then of course I'm gonna use my ruler and cut the cakes into the appropriate size block. I'm gonna get two rectangles out of one rectangle. So I'm cutting them in half and now I have four smaller rectangles that will create my two blocks. It is time to simple syrup these Funfetti cakes. I'm glad you used fun fetty. That's probably the only time fun has been involved in yoga. People, this time don't aim your comments at me. Orhan is giving yoga a lot of shade here. It might be that I just don't know. I've never taken a yoga class, but I've seen yoga classes and people just like stand in really awkward positions. I really wish that you were here and you could act this out. Now that would be good content. <laughs> Now that the simple syrup has soaked in, I'm going to fill and stack my blocks with Italian meringue buttercream. And once they're filled, I need to trim all the edges of the cake. So the top four edges, the bottom four edges, and then the four corners. And what I need to do is line up a ruler. I have some of my homemade mat board rulers. Yes, I make rulers. And I lined those up, and then I just use my small serrated knife to cut the corners at an angle. And I did this on both blocks. Now that they look more like yoga blocks, I can crumb coat and chill both of these cakes. First crumb coat and chill of the year. That's amazing. Oh yeah, first crumb coat and chill of 2021. Time to ice my cakes, but for the yoga mat, I need to create one full yoga mat and ice it. So I'm gonna pull out all four of the chocolate cakes, spread buttercream on top of three of them, and then I'm going to lay out the first cake, which has no extra buttercream, and lay down the next three so they're all lined up. Still using my hands in 2021 for no reason. 
I've lined them all up and now I have this one long log. Like I did this on the Christmas cracker cake back in 2020. So now that they're all lined up on a board, it's time to ice the entire cake. And then I have to use my bench scraper, but normally I get to twirl around the cake and use my Lazy Susan. Now I'm sort of going from one side up over the cake to the other, trying to make it as smooth as possible. Once I'm happy with this big cake log, I put it in the fridge to chill and I can ice my yoga blocks. Personally, I'm a big fan of last year's New Year's resolution, which was more champagne, but it didn't work out in 2020. Well, the amount of alcohol that we all consume. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of worked out, but not in the way we thought, right? It wasn't like celebratory. Ah, I went from champagne to like wine in a box. You know what I mean? So I've decided to cover the yoga blocks in like a sort of lavender or light purple fondant. I'm going to make sure to measure them, the length and the width of them, and then roll out my fondant a bit larger than that, drape it on top and smooth it all over the yoga block. Now what's tricky is anytime you have more angles in a cake, it creates more air bubbles. So I've got to really, really work with my fondant smoother or two fondant smoothers to get all of the air out of the yoga blocks. And if you notice any air is trapped, then just use a straight pin to release it from underneath the fondant. I'm gonna move on to covering the yoga mat. So the first thing I wanna do is cover each end of the mat with a little bit of black fondant because yoga mats roll up and normally like there's a hole in the middle and you would just see darkness. So that's why I'm putting the black first to create that sort of depth. So the first thing I wanna do is roll up my coral fondant and now I need to texture it because yoga mats, I mean, some of them are plain. I had one that was really plain. Not that I ever used it for yoga. You know why I had a yoga mat before? I cut it up and I used it as a mat under my giant mixer. I have a, you guys have never seen it, but I have a mixer that stands on the floor. And so I had the yoga mat under it. That's why I had a yoga mat. And that one I had was really plain. So I liked it because if I made buttercream, I could just like wipe it off the yoga mat and keep it clean. So anyway, I wanted to texture the yoga mat. So I laid down a big piece of shelf liner that I have to try and emboss the texture into the fondant. It didn't work as well as I thought it would. It, it just didn't. I even at one point took that yoga mat and laid it on top of my fondant and rolled over that. And it's too squishy, I think. So it didn't really make an impression, but I'm gonna be zen, I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. So what I did after I textured it and it didn't work out quite like I wanted, I cut the fondant into equal strips and now I'm gonna place uh, my smallest circle cutter on a cake board, it's only about an inch round and I'm gonna start to roll up these strips around the circle cutter. Before I roll the strips around the circle cutter, I turn them on their side and I just pinch along the side so it doesn't look so perfectly straight and then I'm wrapping it around the circle cutter until the spiral is the size of the side of my yoga mat. So I did this twice and then realized I should have rolled the second spiral in the opposite direction. Oh. Yeah, thank you for that all. Oh, I really needed that. Thank you for that yoga mat empathy. So then I started to make another one and realized I was still rolling it in the same direction. <laughs> So then I just took out the first one I made and had it in front of me so I would know I was rolling it in the opposite direction. So finally I have two spirals in two different directions and I can glue them to the sides of my cake. So I'm just gonna brush clear piping gel all over that black fondant that I already put on the cake and carefully line up the spiral. Each spiral was a little bit bigger than my cake, so as I'm lining it up with the side, I can just unravel what I don't need so that it fits on the side of the yoga mat. So now I have to cover the rest of the yoga mat. I'm going to make sure to measure the length and the width, and then I'm gonna roll out a really large piece of coral fondant. I'm still gonna use the shelf liner to try and texture it. It's still not giving me the effect I want, but I'm gonna let it go. And then I'm gonna drape the fondant over the yoga mat, really tuck it in under the sides and trim away any excess. Trimming away the excess of the sides was kind of difficult because you wanna do it slowly and make sure that the fondant is lining up with the spiraled fondant because we want it to look like this is just a mat rolled up. That sounds sufficiently challenging. It was sufficiently challenging, thank you. It's like when you do a new pose in yoga. What would you call that pose? The spiral pose. You really have to twist your body. You roll yourself up. 
I also have to roll out a sheet of fondant that will extend from the cake once we set it up because I want it to look slightly unraveled. You know, like you just got to class and you just put your mat down and it rolled away a little bit, you know, like that moment. So I'm rolling out more coral fondant, texturing it once again, and then I need to make sure to cut it to the exact length of my cake and then, you know, whatever width that you want extending. I didn't make it too big because I really want to be able to pick it up without creasing it or breaking it. Do you guys have any big resolutions for this year? Uh, I feel like Jengis is doing it right because he moved. New year, new you, new place. What about you? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I need some inspiration for resolutions. I'm the kind of person who makes the same resolution every year and then obviously doesn't follow through, which is why I still have it to make in the next year. Drinking more water has been a New Year's resolution of mine for like 15 years. Honestly, you want me to tell you what it honestly is? I'm, I'm curious. I want to write another book. Yes, do that. That would be amazing. <laughs> I do. It's about Kate. Surprise! <laughs> So it's like new year, not so new me, but still new book. Guys, I wanna know what your new year's resolutions are. Leave them in the comments below. I just need to assemble it. I need to lay my yoga mat down. So I carefully slid it in front of the yoga mat. I had to make a few adjustments. Isn't that what it's called in a pose? No? Adjustments? No, I'm thinking of chiropractors. Never mind. Before I attempt the eagle pose for you all on camera, that's not gonna happen. I just wanna let you know that our Bake You Happy 2021 lineup is available now. We have classes for bakers of all ages and skill levels, and in every class you'll make a treat that's not only delicious, but will look amazing in your Instagram feed. Learn making a treat from me or one of our incredible dessert artists in a live two hour tutorial. You'll be doing this from the comfort of your own home and our instructors will walk you through it step by step. Check out our full lineup of baking tutorials by clicking right here. you with any yoga but if you need more cake click here <laughs>